Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to X Plane 11 and welcome to what is probably one of the craziest aircrafts ever to be seen in the planet. Uh, hello to everybody in the uh, channel there. Who is there? Hello to the mods members. No, there's not many of you there. Very quiet this evening. Hello, Kaliwax, uh, Johanna Deep, Harvey Young, hello, Curtis Hard, hello. Uh, yeah, I was going to delete the stream, but I just left it there. Uh, yeah, look, Andy can rewatch it as much as he wants. Uh, Stephen Munsell, hello, mate, welcome. Okay, so what we actually have in front of us is uh, a whale. Hey, big, big whale. Okay, so this is the A300 Beluga uh, on the line from INI Simulations. Um, it was released today, I believe, and uh, yeah, it is looking pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. Now, I just want to point out a few things. I have not actually flown this plane yet. I got it in the air quickly just to make sure I could start it, uh, but that was it. Um, so it's gonna be quite a fun stream. Who knows? Will we land? Will we not? Uh, we will be taking a short flight from where we are now When you get this you do get this airport with it and scenery as you can see here uh, This actually is a part of the package. I suppose we should say um, And this is our warden EGNR in uh, the north of Wales and a chest area. So as you can see it's been made um for this and it is uh, pretty pretty good so you kind of get a little bit extra you get like a free airport with it as well i think the official price is uh i think it's about 45 pounds i think is what the plane will come out at uh, i'm not sure what it is in euros maybe about 55 in euros something like that change rate being terrible as it is but look it's looking pretty smart looking pretty nice like i said it is free as well so we can never go wrong with uh free stuff yeah, if we go into the main cargo building, so this is the main cargo building for the Beluga. Uh, inside here, we will see our aircraft. Here it is. Look at that beauty, absolute beauty. Uh, no, hello, mate. Good evening, Glen B. Evening, Glen Bixley. Hello. So look, we are flying something a lot different. Um, it is loosely based on the A three hundred. So if any of you have flown that, you probably understand most of the, how this aircraft works. Now, I it's one aircraft that I haven't played with i don't even have so yeah it's a bit of a learning curve this one for sure um but it is all good fun at the end of the day we, we, you know, it's always good to learn something new but look, what we're gonna do we're gonna go straight into this cockpit so they've retextured remodeled this from the a300 so a lot of work has gone into this this is a complete kind of rebuild of the 3d texturing inside the cockpits uh compared to the a300 now i do believe you do get a deal if you buy both of them from i and i uh, you do get a, a, a discount yeah, about 25 percent or 50 discount i can't remember exactly uh 53.99 with that oh okay i thought it was a bit i thought it was a bit cheaper that i thought it was cheap pounds anyways um yeah so look there's a lot to kind of do a lot to configure there's a few things like so they built like the fmc on this aircraft was built from the a300 but obviously this isn't the size and shape so a lot of the figures you get in here are wrong um the top of descent does work it does show you like it has the top of descent and top of uh ascent markers but they are again quite loosely wrong but if you do follow the top of descent using vertical speed you will get down in time that's basically what they've said um it's kind of been posted everywhere um so yeah so look, it's gonna be pretty interesting so what we're gonna do first uh you're gonna come into your little tablet here and you want to go to ground operations and ground services okay so we're going to want to connect our external power and we want to go get the loader now we can pick what you want to get from loading. Uh, anyone that does get it, you can go to their forums. You can download stuff, etc. Uh, there's quite a few bits here. Space station, helicopter, Airbus wings, fuselages. Um, they all look pretty cool. The fuselage probably looks the best. Um, I haven't had a chance to repaint these. Now, I do plan to add this to the VA. So anyone that's in my virtual airline, simply connectva.com. Uh, we will be using this aircraft. This will be incorporated into it in the next week uh, or so. We've got to do some routes and stuff for it. Um, and we're going to build cargo for it as well, special cargo for us. Um, so what I'm going to show you is the A380 tail, which is probably the least exciting, but it was the only thing that was painted quickly. So we will go with the A380 tail, um, and then we can now request the loader. So if you now come out here, you can see that the loader is now going to start appearing. And now this has got all sounds and everything for this. Okay, so look, it'll automatically custom open. I do apologize, it's just this camera angle that I have. There you go, that's better. Uh, so there we go. It is. Uh, it does open the nose cone for you at the same time. Now this loading sequence does take a bit of time. Um, it is a bit of a slow burner, um, but it is fantastic. Just look at that. There is nothing else like that out there. Microsoft Flight Simulator, eat your heart out, eh? When they start doing this, 
Okay, so look, there's an A380 tail with the new SEA logos that some of you have seen on some of the liveries. So there we go. Um, this is a tail part again put in. So we will have all kind of cargo going in will reflect the uh, virtual airlines. That's the plan. How many of you guys are planning to get this? I know Glenn B is getting it. Anybody else actually planning to get this? No. Are you gonna are you gonna learn X plane just for this? This beauty. Okay, so we're gonna go up to the top panel. So I'm gonna show you a bit of flow, but basically what you need to look at first is this. This is your electrical power, and you just want to flick on your external power. It's like your, your and your three batteries. Make sure your batteries are on there as well. Because if you turn off the external power, you could run on the three batteries. Uh, but there we go. So three batteries on, external power on. Okay, that is it for the second. And uh, yeah. I want to go back and have a look at this cargo a little bit more. This is what it's all about. Why oh, the camera is being an absolute pig. F1 Racer Dan, hello mate, welcome, welcome to the stream. And uh, welcome to an A380 tail getting put in from Simply Connect Airways into the... Uh, into it. Uh, so yeah, so I will be taking a short flight. Most people have been taking it down to Bordeaux, which is a real flight. I'm taking it as far as Paris. Um, this thing finds me, it just should be possible to fly. Yeah, the, the interesting thing about it is the, the rotational speeds and the uh, the landing speeds. It's like the same as an A320. They are slow. Absolute slow. What I love about this plane is you can do a walk around from the cockpit by using the lower crew exit. That's also true. So this will all connect up all these sounds and stuff. So that will line up in this. If we go back to our tablet here. It hasn't come up to load yet. Quite yet. It's just moving in now. So she is getting there. Okay, so what we will do very quickly is we're going to align the ideas. So the three ideas are at the top. We've got the left, right, and center. Oop. Now I have mine on auto instant. It is a seven minute wait if you want to wait. We probably would have seven minutes. Um, but I just put it on instant because I was using it earlier. Okay, and then what we'll do, we'll just start going with the float of the panel. So we're going to come down this side. Everything is looking good. Everything is on that it should be. We're not going to touch any of these spoilers, speed brakes. With these lights being on, it means basically it's on. There's just no power yet. Um, so that's all good. If you wanted to put brightness on or whatever, you, you could. Done from the top here. Uh, what you would now do is change this down to your external powers so you can get all your your flows from your external powers okay no sorry that's fine i didn't see that one light on earlier <laughs> okay you'll put on your galley uh, lights power i mean and you will now put on your your dampers and you could put on some navigations or beacon lights because we will be doing a pushback at some point but we're just going to wait a little minute for that okay come down from this one again there's not much for us to touch we won't turn on any fuel pumps just yet uh, we need to fuel the aircraft because we don't have enough fuel in yet. Uh, we can put on the APU master, but we're not going to turn it on, but it is on. And again, coming down this side, you can put on your uh, oxygen supply. Again, we can now turn on the captain standby and FO lights, eatings. Uh, they can all go on and off. And back down this side again. Nothing that we need to do just yet. We're not bleeding anything. So, yeah. So, that's basically it for a minute. I'd say the cargo is now ready to be loaded. It is. Okay. Let's go have a look at that bad boy. Keep forgetting what buttons move the camera around. Okay. So, this is now going to load in. <clears throat> I wouldn't say no to flying one for sure. Yeah. I reckon it'd be be interesting like i said the, the one thing about it is um how low the speeds are but again when i flew in an a380 to australia I remember when that took off we we're going down the runway and i thought jesus there's no way this is going to get in the air but you know it's got such a slow takeoff speed now once this does load it'll automatically shut the nose for you as well which is good and then we'll get on with the rest of the start procedures there we go a380 tail is now going in. Just like a big A309, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I said, it is a bit funny. I noticed on the takeoff, it's a bit 
it is a bit funny with the systems like it is completely different to what i would normally be used to flying um, especially like I, I you know i do like to fly the a321 a309 uh, the one good thing about this though it is very good on the fps it's kind of like the toeless it's, it's very good um so that's all good okay so we can now go into the inside here that's all done and dusted nice 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 we need to call the fuel truck i haven't called the fuel truck yet uh we could have probably done with that fuel truck will be here okay so there's a few different systems here one that this has actually built in whichever camera i have it connected to it has a full a card system now i'm still working this out um like i said so this this flight who knows what's going to happen but yeah this this can give you a lot of information a lot of different things um yeah you need to know how to use it properly but i'm not using any atc pipe to atcs off all that kind of stuff i'm actually flying an a321 next week so working up oh nice not far from uh, this then um, so basically what you want to go is into the uh, main menu here and you can see you can now link your sim brief directly to it and all you do is request company route so whatever last route that you have on your sim brief we press it might freeze for a second there you go so that should now be in the fmc uh, which we can see it is and we'll go check that out in a second and we can also request our wind data uh, again that'll sort itself out in a second now the main issues here for me that I did mess up my landing, the ILS is here. So whatever ILS is, uh, and I haven't actually looked at my charts for Paris. Uh, where are we flying into Paris? Let's have a look. Uh, we're going to be taking an ILS runway 9, and it should be 11010. That's what it would be. So it be 110. Zero, zero. That will be our ILS, and the course would be 084. So we'll throw that in now obviously we'll do that later on um but just so you know that's where you input your ils data okay one thing done let's get rid of navy grass very quickly okay so next turn off the caution lights if there are any we want to go into the fb and uh, we need to go to performance here so you'll put in your airport egnr and uh I press enter otherwise nothing happens <laughs> uh, and we will be taking off today on runway 22 okay nice so to get all this data up here we can just uh, request atis and it's now going to get atis for you which is pretty cool good fill out here anyways Because I haven't fueled. I know why. There we go. I've already made my first mistake. Okay. Uh, so you do need to go to um, your ground ops. You need to go to do your load sheet first. If you don't do your load sheet first, it doesn't work. Okay. So it's already loaded the cargo. So 909.4 kilograms. So the zero fuel weight of 99.1. Um, fuel on board according to sim brief should be uh, 11894. Um, but yeah, it took me a little while to get myself sorted. So I'm definitely going to give ourselves a little bit more here. I'm probably even going to round it up to 1.2.1. Uh, it's a little bit more than it says, but still under my, my, my main weight. Okay, so that has now been put in. We can load the payload and fuel. And it's going to compute that for us. And we can send that to the performance page. Of course, it's here. So now you've got your tow weight. Uh, and it matches... Just actually a little short of what sim brief is okay that's fine let's see if we can get the atis again no atis available interesting interesting okay so i need to just get atis quickly bear with me a second why oh, it's not let my atis work it was working fine earlier Okay, wind one four zero at zero four. Okay, Q and H today is ten thirty three. 
Uh, ground temperature is five degrees. There we go. So there's our ATIS. Uh, we, runway conditions are dry. NTI should be off. We'll be a 15 flaps takeoff. Uh, standard flex, etc. So now we'll press compute. Uh, Radar Robber, hello mate, welcome. So there we go. We have our flex temperatures and we have our V1s and stuff. Now, very importantly, if you were to go have a look at this and say very quickly, you know, we go to our... We want to send data to FMS. And we want to send to the card. Now I'll explain what that card is. This is the card here. If we uh, just go over the top. This card will actually give you the proper V-speed. So now what we're going to do, we're going to align the IRS. That's done. As you can see, the whole flight plan has been inputted for us. Uh, cruise level 23,000. Okay, that's very low. But anyways, that's what Simbrief has given us. The aircraft is a beast. It is a beast. Okay, let's just uh, clear all the bits that are here for the moment. Okay, that's all good. So we're going to our flight plan then from EGNR. We can input our SID. You know that we're doing 22 and we should be taking the, uh, I think it's the Rex. Uh, Rex and 5, yep. Yeah, that's it. We're taking Rex and 5 and we're going to insert that into the flight plan and we're going to check that in a second. We need to go all the way to the bottom. LFPG, Paddy. And we're going to throw in our star here now. Uh, we're looking for ILS 9 right. And we should be coming in on IB 9V. Ibat 9V, here we go, this is it. And uh, let's insert that. Okay, now very quickly, we can now check for discontinuities. We go into our plan mode. See what kind of disaster this is. In and out and around. Straight into Paris, really. Okay, so there we go. Going to Paris. Flight plan looks okay. We'll now take that back out of the map mode and we can now think about starting our APUs. Okay, so the APUs, we're going to make sure you turn on all your fuel now. We are now fueled up, so we do have fuel. Um, what we're also going to do now is press start on the APU. We're going to wait for that bad boy to kick in. Everyone's very quiet in the chat. There you go. You can see we have enough fuel. It's fueled us levelly all the way across. And just hear the APU kicking in now. Oh, and we need to close that door now as well. Go back to our main page here. Uh, ground ops. Ground services. Uh, fuel truck can now go. And uh, our loader can now be removed. And we turn. So that should now be moving. You can hear it now beeping. Giving away ever so slowly, I think. moved away quicker than that earlier okay we're going to keep an eye on that for a second uh luga hey we're waiting for the cargo sorts out
Why will it not? Yeah. Maybe we want, want to take it off external power. Okay, so the APU has now become available, as we can see here. Um, good. Throw our bleed on here, which is now going to power the aircraft as I turn off the external powers. And once I've done that, now it's being removed. Uh, did I get a new haircut? No, it's just... He's a wash, probably. <laughs> um... That didn't have takeaway. Yeah, everyone, everyone's a busy, busy tonight, aren't they? No one really around. I thought there might be a few around that might want to see this. Okay, so as soon as you put on the APU, this does move away. So, there we go. I suppose it's acting as ground power and APU or something. And the ground is here. There is our cargo. Nice. Okay. Where are we even at? Who even knows? Okay, so our V speed. So if we go into our init page here. It doesn't automatically put them in for you. I've sent it to the first thing. Pretty sure the masses I mean this 137, 139, 142. So the speeds have come up. Maybe the mass isn't um Yeah, I'm not too sure why that's not doing Okay, well we'll just leave it it I, I think the, it's important if it's in here i don't i didn't see anyone else put it across so who knows <clears throat> okay so the apu bleeds on uh, we can arm emergency lights here uh, obviously beacon can go on we can throw on our navigations one and two here as well uh, up here pitch can now go on atis can now go on as well okay so everything is looking good for pushback here from this has our nose closed yet it has I had a long flight in the 787. It was an eight-hour flight non-stop. Oh, my cup of tea. Okay, so very quickly, um, our flex temp today was 60... One. There we go. There's our flex. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, altitude, apparently. I don't know why we're going so... Uh, okay, so this is the one part of this aircraft that I'm not enjoying. Is this silly knobs. Especially when you're up in the air and you're trying to change stuff there at night. Okay, we're not flying with any ATC, so we're just going to go straight up. Uh, I think it was 23,000. Double check that in a minute. Okay, our speed for takeoff was 1... 1, 3 something, I think, I believe. Uh, 1, 3... 3, 9. 
142. Okay, so 142. What we're going to throw into our speed here. Okay, course is fine. Autopilot, we won't engage yet. Okay, we're good for pushback, guys. My Discord is broken. Oh, nice. Okay, so look, guys, other than that, I think we are good to push back. <laughs> uh, who knows? Find out when we get in the air. There's no blue. No blue markings. Moment. Okay, so look, let's uh, let's get our push back. There we go. Ground to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you're ready. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Toe is driving up. <laughs> okay, so we, we're going to use this vehicle speed for is to give us a guide as we take off. Uh, we're going for about two six. And that's just literally for this. So as we take off, we have a marker to uh, go for. There you go. Better pushback is coming. Hopefully everything's looking okay. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Ready to connect. Top tip from Kurt. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't even know that actually. That's quite a good tip. Man, it's very quiet. I, I thought there'd be a lot more interest in this bit on trains. The Luga is obviously not everybody's cup of tea. <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so the other thing here we are starting to get pushed back in a second is we want to change our standby to TA TIA yeah only so connected really and around. bypass pin inserted release parking brake okay parking brake released starting pushback and you may start engines okay guys so to start the engines it's very very simple Okay, so what we're going to do here is you're going to want your ignition to crank, and you can see you've got arm one and two. Uh, we are going to wait until we clear the doors. You wouldn't, you wouldn't turn her on just yet. Look at that. Oh, I forgot to open the doors as well. These open. Go to the sand menu. Have a look at that in a minute. And you do get this person. That's pretty cool. Okay, so all you do now is press start for number two. And once this hits about 20, I think it's 22, you add, you, you turn on the engine. Once this hits 20 on the end two, there we go. Uh, we are just going to flick on engine two and we're going to listen to some lovely noises, hopefully. And it'd be handy if I actually put on... Oh no, the bleed was on. Okay, bleeds on. Our switch is on. And if I turned it over to the correct crank. A4, nice mate. Okay. So that will now go back to arm. We can now start number one. Again, we're going to wait for this to go up to about 22. Once it's 20, we'll just add the fuel in.
There you go, we're throwing the fuel in, the fuel is in. We're going to run the guy over, but clearly their pushback wants us to go forward a bit more. No, their pushback is broken. <laughs> okay, interesting. He didn't do that earlier, but anyway. Disconnecting toes. Stand by. Okay, well, we're here then. Uh, we can now put our flights to taxis. Uh, Taxi turning lights. Don't have to worry about the wing just yet. Okay, engines are all good and stable. Nice, nice. Okay, we can now turn off the APU bleed. You can see it's all going to run on its own generators. And uh, we can now turn off the APU and put it on to continuous for now. Lights are set for taxi. Who knows? gonna happen on this so is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed hand signal on the right we'll see you next time and have a safe flight So the weight says it's not allowed. Made a little mistake here somewhere. Let's not worry about it too much. Okay. <clears throat> Engines are done. All good for taxi. Back has disappeared. Um, let's release parking brake. For some reason it won't... Uh, it won't let me actually use that for... Oh, this bird. Okay, so we're going to set our flaps to the 15. There we go. 15 set for flaps. And we're going to arm our speed brakes while we're here. Now, you've got to be careful with the taxi of this. Uh, even though she's a big girl and she's heavy, she does get away from you very quickly. Uh, she's very fast. On a taxi, anyways. Hitting so high. There we go. Okay, we are moving on to an active runway, so landing lights are on. Lights are on. Change our nose to take off. And we will also throw on our strobe as well. And off. Good to go. I said this is only my first flight, actually, a full-on flight, so you know, we'll get better as we play a bit a little bit more. And, uh, like I said, we will be adding this to the VA, uh, which will be a lot of fun. Now, currently Manflex isn't working. We have to manually take her off. Uh, we will go to a level change. Once we get to three or 4,000 feet up, we'll level change.
Dan, hello mate, welcome to the stream. Ready for takeoff. Okay, we're just gonna do our final checklist now for takeoff. Should be good to actually just go. Any ATC. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, she's a bit jumpy there. Okay, we'll just throw on the parking brake for a second. I don't know why she was so skiddy. Okay, so just for takeoff then, uh, lights are all set, beacons are set. Uh, wing lights are set again like i said uh, we do have flex here to 61 at 94 but we will be manually taking off uh, before we engage the autopilot and we'll talk a little bit about that i think all this is good Step back to menu for a second okay so as soon as we take off uh, we will be taking a turn to the left okay uh, just to throw on cockpit lights if anyone is wondering lights are down here we will throw on a few lights maybe just make it a bit brighter for you guys. There we have it. These lights should be here. Right. Gotta be panel lights. So, there we go. Cockpit lights haven't got a clue right now. We'll hopefully find them on the way up. Okay, guys, we're good for takeoff. Stable. We have air movement. Under check. B1 and rotate. Oh, she is taking off herself a little bit. There we go. Positive climb, gear up. Okay, that was not easy trying to do that. Okay, we are climbing way too heavy. <laughs> in wow she wanted to go we will arm um, auto throttles a second so now this is the bit i don't like trying to get hold of these throttles you turn them be fiddly ah Okay, 241 is fine for me. We'll hear the engine spool down a little bit. We're climbing like rockets. Yeah, there's a few little bits like that that are just a little bit annoying when you're up in the air, especially that we have to manually configure it. Um, yeah. Bernie Hill, we're up. Schedule of pilot. Vertical navigation, I think. And auto speed. Little bit messy. <laughs> only like I said, it's only really the first time I've proper done it, so looking beautiful. Okay, so level change, navigation is on. They're climbing already pretty high. Okay, continuous engine light can now go off. Uh, disarm spoilers, flaps are all the way up and slats. Climbing above 8,000 nearly now already. Everything else is looking good. 
But yeah, not 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 the best takeoffs, but it was a takeoff. Who knows what landing's gonna be like? Yeah, a whole new kettle of fish. Yeah, so my biggest thing is is this, like suppose unless you're dead on to it. Maybe that would be a better camera, but yeah, if it just moves a little bit. A bit frustrating. Here we're through at 10,000. So we will now turn off our lights there. And the lights can be retracted. Off, off, on, on, on. Okay. Leave all is good. Now, how are the volumes? Too bad. Okay. Uh, see you in a little bit, Arjun. Now I'm sitting really low. I know we're climbing, but... I seem to find a nice place that I like to sit. Okay, make sure we change that back to auto. Now I'm going to limit. We will go to standard pressures as well now as well. Or, yeah, other than that, we're up. <laughs> I don't know why Simbrief has us flying so low with this cargo plane. Makes absolutely no sense. Let's see what cameras I have set. Engine. He's a beast. I think we're mostly going to want to look at it from the outside now. Did you like taking a spaceship? Now, I am not familiar with the A300 systems, so uh, that doesn't help. Anyone that has already got the INI 300, this would be a lot simpler for you guys. Um, like I said, the main thing is, is when you do your step downs and stuff, we will have to use vertical speed to descend. Um, because this FMC actually thinks it's an A300 uh, when it's not. Anti Seawork, hello mate, welcome to the stream. You just missed a long battle that I've just had getting this up in the air. Nice. That's now even more in my way. Definitely missed a step somewhere. Maybe it seems with the activation. Oh, no way. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it though. I think she's a, a great bird. Or whale. So you take off. <laughs> it's very ordinary looking. What do you think? Uh, wait till I get a nice Simply Connect repaint on this now. That's what we need. Like I said, we will be adding this to our company, um, but it probably won't be for about a week. Because we have to create routes and charts and bits and pieces for it so take a little bit of time yeah we're through at 20,000 feet I can't believe Simbrief wants us to fly at 23,000 I really don't understand a huge bird
Okay, we are up at 23,000 feet. This is our cruising altitude for today's flight, uh, apparently. Bit cruising at 250 today. The beast, the scenery is gorgeous. Yeah, the scenery looks good. Um, this is the Orbix for the UK. A single cloud in the UK today, apparently. I'm coming. I need to set it up properly, like I need to do all my cameras and stuff, because at the moment I don't really have many cameras for you guys. Plane though, I'm really enjoying it. Really like it. No idea how to fly it, but we really like it. Just a bit puzzled. Oh, there we go. Landing is there. Okay, so it just didn't want to click. Okay, so we'll be at flaps 30, 40 for landing, uh, and we should be coming in at about 125. Wow. 125. That is. Definitely missing something. But oh, those are my approach pay. I'm not seeing an AB skin, it actually looks like a whale. Oh, did you not notice it? Yeah, so there's your, your mouth, there's your eye. Yeah, <laughs> it is the whale. <laughs> yeah. Good looking plane. Found it like strangely nice. I don't like looking, when you look at it from the front, like when it's doing the thing, like here, it looks a bit stupid. You remember the bad guys from like uh, Powerpuff Girls? You know, the bad guy had the big head. That, 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 that's that's that. <laughs> the other thing I don't really like is that I don't like the tail. I don't like these bits. It's a shame that they have to be there. I suppose it's to balance the weight. I don't think they move though, do they? Stabilise it. Okay, off to Paris we go. It's so happy. <laughs> it's so happy it made it up in the air. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit confused about my sim brief. Flight level 230, yeah. Correct. Maybe they don't want it to fly in uh, in other airways because it's, uh, it's very slow, maybe. But the cameras don't move with it, and that's one thing I have noticed. A little bit, bit bad. Gone now. Okay, so for ILS data, we've already inputted it. Uh, 1110, course 048. Uh, so the auto land is bad boy. We just got to flick it into ILS and land, I believe. No promises. No idea how this is actually going to go. Simbrief already have a profile, or do we use A301? Simbrief, uh, Simbrief already has a profile for this, mate, but. 
saying that, it has put me very low. Very, very low. Like I said, flight level 230. So what you're looking for is the uh, A300F4608ST. Uh, That's what you're looking for. That is the flight profile for this. So just again, uh, A3ST, A300F4608ST. That is the profile for this bad boy. is good looking big brain yeah <clears throat> i said the big i can't wait to get it actually in some sort of simply cargo we are going to put some cargo routes on you probably will have to get quite a few flight hours to fly this so anthony get your flight hours in now um cargo will probably be, be up there with the other the other cargoes but we don't normally let people fly the cargo planes for about 50 hours uh, but we might change that for this depending most of us are probably over 50 hours now Is LFPG a regular landing sport for this beast? <clears throat> now, she does go into Paris. Um, but yeah, most of the people have gone down to Toulouse, uh, which is one of the main kind of where it would go next. I, I wanted to make it a bit shorter because this is my first time actually flying her. Um, I haven't had a chance to test flight, so I didn't want to go too far for it all to just go to crap, basically. Um, but she does go into Paris. She goes into a lot of airports, actually. There's a lot of shorter routes and longer routes of her. Probably a grass farm <laughs> in a farmer's yard, probably, yeah. But yeah, there is, um... It does go into a lot of airports that's there. I also wanted to pick something with a long runway, because I, I I don't know what to expect. I don't know what the flight controls are really going to be like. I don't know how easy she's going to be to control. I don't know will she float. I can't imagine she'll float. I imagine she'll drop like a tank, but... Yeah. So I chose somewhere with a bit of a longer runway. Didn't Bradley knows, mate. Welcome, welcome. Very quiet stream this evening. We chilled. Welcome to the uh, flying whale. Yeah, one job. Hey, he's alright. They, I think there's a lot of them doing uh, runs for the um, OMSI thing. <laughs> yeah. So I try and do a loop de loop and a barrel roll in this. That'd be fun. <laughs> I think this is a great little addition though. I'm going to fly this quite a bit, I think. We're going to be delivering uh, cargo parts for making planes to Simply Connect. One thing that I haven't tested, now everybody's flying into the airports that you're allowed to. I wonder if you fly into any airport, can you call the cargo management screen? Uh, the Spitfire is an interesting girl to tame. Yeah, look, I enjoyed that yesterday. I had, I had a good laugh, even though I crashed a thousand times. That's why I left it, because I enjoyed myself. I thought it, I thought it was actually really funny, so yeah. <laughs> I thought it was really good fun.
Uh, the buzz not flying the VA tonight then. <clears throat> no, so basically, how it's going to work with the VA. For us to add an aircraft to the website, it takes a bit of time. Uh, we have to get all the kind of system controls, all the flight things and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we have to set routes for it. As well as that, we know that you can create your own routes, but we want to set routes for you as well. Um, so it takes a little bit of time. Probably going to take us about a week to get it on the system properly. Uh, yeah, yeah, I had a great time yesterday. Look, it's nice to have a sh stream to just kind of blow off a bit of steam, have a bit of fun with a couple of people flying around. You know that you need it sometimes. Like, looking forward to going as soon as she allows me to access the card again. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Look, she's uh, she's definitely going to be in the VA um, very very soon. And uh, <coughs> yeah, so yeah, unfortunately, Buzz, no, I'm not on the VA tonight because I one, I've never landed this thing. I don't even know how it's going to land. I don't know how it feels. So this is like my test flight for you guys. So we're testing together. Um, yeah. <laughs> She's very slow in the air. Very slow. Maybe we can go a bit faster. Yeah, I think I think she'll allow us to... See, this is the bit that bugs me. What about if you're in the middle? A bit better. I wonder what we can push her up to. I can 290. Hear those engines whirling over now. But yeah, so a lot of this is actually manual configuration, and they've done this on purpose for real life because the systems were built on the A300. Um, but basically, they didn't want to rebuild a whole flight computer just for this aircraft because they only built five of them. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of realistic in the way that you have to do it this way. It, it kind of looks like it's not finished. It, this is actually the way the aircraft is supposed to be. The first landing of bit Boeing was in the VA. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Well, the other thing is if I fly in the VA, it, it's going to show people that they can just fly in the VA and that's not what we want to do either. So I won't fly in the VA until it's ready to go in the VA. Uh, the biggest thing would be obviously repaints. Um, I don't know. Iron Beast has uh, has a uh, template now, so we'll see. Gonna have a go at the Dash Eight tomorrow. Uh, I've actually, yeah, the Dash Eight is another one I'm gonna fly next week. Uh, so I did actually do it. Um, supposed to stick to a schedule this week that I didn't because of all the new things that came out. Um, I will be taking Monday off anyways. I know that. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing Ranch Simulator. Uh, please land some or all of the VA fleet. <laughs> when are you going to get into flight sims there, Glenn? Okay, that's fine. EGT is always broken. I don't know what's wrong with that. Okay, actually, we can throw this out a little bit. One dodgy flight profile. The only thing with the plane is the aerodynamic characteristics of a brick. <coughs> yeah, well, see, that's the whole reason why I didn't fly, because I didn't know what it's going to be like when I come down. Be on the VA, Betty P3D crash and approach into Birmingham. Well, I've actually turned Vulcan back on on this as well, so who knows what's going to happen. Uh, Vulcan's been having some issues since the last update, but um, apparently with the new NVIDIA update on the graphics card apparently it has fixed the Vulcan so I've only just turned Vulcan back on what's my FPS in the corner there I can't see it For some reason the FPS counter isn't working. Uh, yeah, everyone, don't forget, yeah, the VA is, uh, Andy did put an announcement out there, but we'll be shot for three or four hours, um, 
on Monday morning because we are migrating it to a new server. Because uh, when there's more than about seven or eight of us flying at one time, it's having server issues. So we've now just gone with a bigger server. So yeah, so yeah, there will be it will the VA won't be able to fly in the morning. Me and Andy haven't decided how many hours you need to get to to fly this beast yet. <laughs> I'd love to try one of these ducks so I can land on water. <laughs> F14 Tomcat. I'm surprised you don't play DCS Glenn Bixley because it's free. Yeah, I think it's the new NVIDIA update that has bugged P3D according to the P3D forums. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really weird how that kind of stuff works, isn't it? But yeah, it is, apparently it has fixed the X-Plane issues anyways on Vulcan. True or not, I wouldn't have a clue. I can't believe we're flying at flight level 230. Such a weird... So weird. Uh, Glenn B, have you landed this yet? How was it for you? <coughs> Uh, had the aircraft in the GTA E5, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's so you just come here now and explain. It's gonna be a fun aircraft. I'm gonna fly this quite a bit, I think. Let's see what the repaint looks like first, though. Uh, uh, Anthony Seaworth, are you still watching? You know you were saying that you were having um, activation problems. You have to load it in with the engines running to activate it. You know that, don't you? Working Monday, so as long as the server is up and running by Monday night, it's all good for me. Yeah, uh, it, it's only in the morning. Uh, Rob, I put the times, I think it's like 9 till 12 in the morning. Um, could be a little bit longer, it could be less, but yeah, it won't be around in the morning anyways. I've not even got in the air yet. Oh. <laughs> I didn't like it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think when it has a Simply Connect repaint in it, uh, we do actually have a Simply Connect um, A380 tail in, in the cargo at the moment. Um... Yeah, she's, she's got to learn it, I suppose, like everything. It's just a bit different to what I'm used to. But FBS has been very good with it. They haven't... I must admit, it's been very good. I think 290 is really pushing it. Yeah, like, this is really pushing us to the max here. Imagine flying this thing in real life. You'd fly with a smile on your face, wouldn't you? Mr. Pilot, can I fly Simply Holidays with the 737-800? The website tells you which aircraft you can fly at each level, but not which airline. <coughs> I... Yeah, you can, Stephen Bradley, but you might have to make your own flight plans. <coughs> so, with the VA, so... Basically, if you have it on the list, you should be allowed to fly it. You know, once you pass 10 hours, the 737 is available. Can I fly simple holidays with the 737? You can, yeah. Now, what you might have to do, it should just pop up. And if not, then what you have to do is you just, when you create a flight plan, um, just put in the airports that you want to go to, and basically you've unlocked the aircraft, you select the aircraft, just hit, you select simply holidays, but what you do, you put in your staff number, but like I'm number two, so 002. So it would say simply holidays. I'll have no flight number, you have to input one. I put 002, yours will be 056 or whatever you are, and uh, done that way. Uh, Glenn Bixley, yeah, DCS. If you want to do the fighter pilot stuff, there's quite a few people that do that in the Discord as well. What are you streaming tonight, Glenn Bixley? I fly the 737 and make my own flight plans. Yeah, basically, that's what you have to do. Once you've unlocked the aircraft, you have to create your own flight plans. And we just say to people, when it comes to a number, just put in your staff number. I pretty much make most of my own flight plans most of the time. So, 
because with streaming I have to try and limit myself to something that's not going to be over about an hour and a half flight in the air full time. Uh, probably what all they do, I just didn't want to break the rules. No, no, no. Basically, once you've flown the hours and you've got the aircraft, you can do what you want. Yeah, as long as the other one's unlocked, you, you can fly them. No problem. And and you can fly it with the 737, but, you know, if you see a route there that you like, you'll just have to input it manually. Just the front's too big. Oh. Apparently there is some Vulcan issues. Yeah, from the front it looks terrible. Like that. Looks like a guy wearing a chef hat. <clears throat> well, Glenn B, like I said, I know that uh, Kurt plays it. Gecko plays it. Uh, there's quite a few others that play it. Do you have the A380? I do, yeah, but I'd rather fly this than the A380. The A380 Peter Hager is dreadful. Oh, nice. Like I said, let's wait till we see what Iron Beast comes up with for a design, anyways. Uh, Hashan, just describe. Thank you, mate, if you're watching. Who knows? It could be all my subscribers coming through for the day. <laughs> Hold two. Well in the air. Yeah, and I can't believe we're flying so low. But at least we get to see what Ortho... So this is the how nice this can look. x can look just as good as Microsoft Flight Simulator. Jesus Christ, if you're scared to turn it like that, you think she'll fall out of the sky. Where the hell is she going? Where is my top of descent? I don't see the marker. It does say that the markers are supposed to show. But I really don't see the marker. Oh, is it there? Okay, top of descent is there somewhere. I always thought it looked like an alien's head. Yeah, <clears throat> shame because I love the A380 in real life and be a decent one. Uh, well, so X-Plane, there is one that's coming. I think it is I and I that are building it. Um, been on the been on the project for a while. Someone said they were hoping for a release this year, and obviously we have the fly-by wire that might be coming out on uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, but there is one in development, and I believe it is I and I, the guys that built this. So hopefully now that this is out. Um, that they might get on with it. It's in the perf page on the MacDo. Yeah, um, I won't talk. I think I, I balls up my MacDo, so. I don't even have a performance page. <laughs> it's a bit different, this uh, MacDo. So, yeah. It's okay. The top of the set mark is here, anyway, so I can see it just. We're about halfway into our flight now, though, guys. The cameras were not working. Taking such a weird flight plan. Uh, it's kind of funny, when I flew on the A380, it was the time when um, the Airbus for Qantas fell out of the sky, the A380. And that was literally the day before I was flying and they were pulling them all. Um, but the first half between London and Singapore was with an A380 because they wanted to bring it back to Singapore for maintenance, just in case. I won't say I didn't crack my pants the whole way. Wow, it's very different, more like the Zebo one than the Toast. Yeah, so basically it's the A300s. So basically, when they, this aircraft was built, they didn't build a whole new system for it because there's not many of them around, even though they fly frequently. Um, but they didn't build a whole new system. They modeled it on the kind of the A300, 
and uh, so if you fly the A300 by I and I, then you know these systems are, are, are quite easy for you. But yeah, basically that that's what it is. It was kind of copied off another plane, obviously. I've only been flying a few weeks, I've flown four different types of aircraft, so many on my game, ready to try, but so little time, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a nice day here, outside in the garden, I finished the dash on the Mini today, got it all working, got the Mini started as it wasn't starting, spark plugs were dead, yeah. I don't know what the weather's like for tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow's going to be pretty nice as well. I haven't, I haven't seen the Martians in a long time. Mars attack. You know what it reminds me of is that Christmas movie, you know, the one with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. Uh, Jingle All the Way, you know, the bad guy with the alien head. That's what it reminds me of. <coughs> Which movie are you on about? <laughs> the picture that Badger just put up in Discord. Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> <clears throat> If I miss the final Google. <laughs> yeah, Shrek was on TV there not long ago. Hey guys, is that the White Cliffs of Dover? That's where we were flying yesterday, look. Welcome to France. Paddy.
But where are the cockpit lights actually? <coughs> that it, the dome light I suppose. How long can the beluga fly? Correction. Uh, it can actually do quite long distance, mate. Uh, I will tell you. Hang on. Um, <clears throat> depending on what weight you have, full, if it's full, 1,650 kilometers. But it depends on the weight. And so if any of you guys did not see, here we go, here is the, uh, this is our cargo for today, it is actually one of our new livery tails. You can actually open the nose from here as well, by the way. This actually works. Uh, flight 77700. Good evening. I had zero accidents, it went smoothly, yeah. <laughs> uh, morning, Brett. Raider Rambo, hello. No, well, wow, nice. Yeah, it's, it's got a good range on it for the cargo it can carry. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had quite a few accidents yesterday, mate. It looks like a flying whale. It is. Beautiful whale. Doesn't look so good when there's nothing around us to fly into. But look, we're about to head into Paris. That's where we're heading for. Open it now. <laughs> yeah. No problem is that the cargo area isn't pressurized, so you wouldn't be in there at cruise. I'm only cruising at level 230. We might be alright, just. <laughs> just. So, welcome to France. Not too far from top of the descent now, then we gotta work out what the hell we're gonna do. Very quickly, let's just take a look what our landing speeds were supposed to be. Man, that, that can't be right. Look, 124, 129. Flaps 30, 40. The full flaps landing. Uh, catch you mate. <laughs> yeah, this is what it wanted us to fly at. <laughs> yeah, the A320 was a bit funny. Yeah. It was a champ. <laughs> champ for, for sure. Okay, top of the descent is just there. So she drops like a stone. 
So what the developer said is that the calculator is here, but it's incorrect. Basically, if you use this, it will get you down on time, but there is no descent profiles on this aircraft because like I said, it was modeled on another aircraft. It didn't bother wasting the time doing a whole systems for this aircraft. Um, so if you use it as a guideline, we start descending. Uh, we will be down in time. I just need to check my charts because I actually haven't even looked at them yet. Frequency is already in. We need to be down at 4,000 is our target for the ILS. Uh, we are coming in at 9 right. Our DNH for this one today, it is a CAT 3, so DH of 50. Nice. Looks good for the price. <laughs> yeah, look. I've got no complaints with it so far. It's just the learning curve again, you know. That that's that's the uh, that's the hardest part. Did the wipers work? Oh yeah, they're working wipers. Nice. It does have ILS, yes, but you set it up a little bit differently. <coughs> so. For anyone that wasn't watching at the beginning when I was struggling to set her up, find the camera that actually goes to the right place. This has a full integrated A car system. Sorry, when the plane turns, the cameras follow. Bloody annoying. Hang on, wait till we've done the turn. Hey, Crikey, that's some bank. The car goes all the way down now. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't want to be the person in charge of uh, tying down the cargo, would you? They've had a few incidents like that, haven't they? Not, not this aircraft, but. Other aircraft, 747 in Baghdad, didn't it? Okay, so again, it has a full ACAR system. So what you need to do is make sure you tune in your ILS and your course here. And that's basically all you need to do for this. Okay, that's on TA only. Obviously, it should be on uh, EARA. But yeah, so basically, you tune in your ILS here. Uh, then you will need to shove it into ILS mode and then on to land. Uh, once you hit the uh, diamonds, of course, uh, but we're, we're coming to land now, so you're going to see. We'll see how to bring this girl in. Uh, what I will do is just take out some of that speed now. God, I hate these buttons. Uh, no. Oh, remember, cheers mate, much appreciated. Welcome to the club. I will give you the special role in Discord and you'll be able to enter the special giveaways I do for you guys. I need to do your one for March yet, actually. I haven't decided what we're going to do. Everyone keeps asking me for, um... What's the face? <laughs> will there be a simple delivery for this? I believe it will be here by tomorrow. Yes, and Harvey, you should be okay to fly this if you get it because, um... Uh, you have enough hours in the, in the VA, probably. Yeah, so look, it's going to be about a week before Andy gets it sorted for us. Maybe a bit longer. Um, so look, don't get too excited just yet about it. So, you know, it, it, we'll get there. Look, we, we'll get it on. Like I said, I, I want to bring this a part of the company as well. Look, I have the aircraft. I'm going to fly it for sure. Um... But yeah, uh, thanks not for becoming a member. Much appreciated. Basically, what those donations do pays for the VA. They're all servers and other bits and pieces that are required. So thank you very, very much. Rachel Riley, I keep telling you. Yeah, sorry, I forgot her name. I don't know how I forgot her name. Everybody wants Rachel Riley. <laughs> yeah, I haven't worked out what this, uh, this giveaway will be yet. I need to sort it out soon, though. Andy, thanks. <laughs> That's it. And it's land anyway. Actually, you'd be surprised. It comes in very slow, like an A320, A319. Um, like, look, it's calculated my V speeds of 1, 2, 3 for landing, which is friggin' low. It hasn't calculated my weight. I, I, I messed up a step somewhere. I know I did. So, um, but we will probably land at around 130, 135. So yeah, this can land pretty much anywhere. Um, this beast, like, she's she's big, but yeah, she's agile. Yeah. And, and less, because it comes in so slow with the weights, it can actually take shorter runways too. 
Um, but yeah, that, that's all to be ciphered between me and Andy anyways, what routes we'll put in and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, yeah, I'm going to bring down this attitude because flicking this switch is going to take for bloody ever. Uh, Stephen Bradley, thanks for the super chat, mate, for the server. Nice. Uh, all donations need to go to uh, Radar Robbo. <laughs> uh, but thanks, mate. It's much appreciated. Like I said, just being a channel member is the contribution anyways. But cheers, mate. Much appreciated. Goes towards repaints, the server, everything else, you know. And Andy's free time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks, mate. Much appreciated. Okay, 4,000. So we're near the top of the scent. Now, we could flight level change it, but I think I'm going to go by vertical speed. Level change gets us down in time. I don't know. Tough one. Okay, let's put on level change. And... Um, I'm going to bring our speed down here. Descending? Oh yeah, that's going to descend way too slow. Okay, so I'm going to descend at around 2,800. Nice. And uh, I need to get the meter up, so I need to get the Discord up. So, Bev Media, hello, mate. Uh, welcome. Sorry, I wasn't ignoring you. I don't know if I did or not. But yeah, I know it's been a while, but you know, people have lives. Expect everyone to be around all the time. Okay, ten twenty-seven. Oh. Now we've got to play. Find this. Ten twenty-seven. There we go. There's the meter changed. Uh, winds and stuff have already been done. Bloody bloody blah. blah, blah. Um, ooh, it was a bit gusty down there, so hopefully we'll be okay. Uh, Ross, you're finally using the Fade 2NX mod. It's a, yeah. Look, it will improve your flying, no doubt. Okay, D and H today will be fifty because it is a Cat three, so D and H of fifty. Our membership doesn't let me go above four pounds something. By that, yeah, but that's paid monthly, so. You know, there's a big contribution between all the channel members that all pays for the VA, so you're all contributing in your own ways. I could land on this aircraft carrier with a good aim and no concentration. <laughs> yeah. Man, I couldn't even land a Spitfire. How, how am I going to bring this girl down? Oh, wow. We're going to be down very early. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow this descent. Slow this descent. Yeah, so she falls out of the sky, literally. So I'm really going to turn down that descent. Wow. It does drop like a lead balloon. <coughs> Absolute lead balloon. I went through loads of forums about landing speeds and someone said 150 knots, so I did. I landed near perfectly enough. Uh, for an A320, like I said, it, it, it should be around, depending on weight and, and wind conditions. That's how it kind of works. So look, if it's really windy, you need to come in faster to counter the wind. Um, so it depends if you're playing with weather on or off, of course. Um, but yeah, the, generally the rule of thumb is around 139 to 145, generally. Um, depends what you're comfortable with, like I said. <coughs> Okay, so even though I changed it, it's not... It hasn't got longer, it's got shorter. Okay, there's LF, so that's where we have to be down that 4,000 by. Maybe once we get down to... we see how we go with this. So look, this is going to be a trial and error. A um, bit like real life, this. Uh, flight yeah, look, it all depends on weight and winds and everything else. Look... 
um, the two pilots in the Discord there, the Airbus pilots, they both said, you know, you can go easily up to, you know, 145, 149, depending if it's real windy. Obviously, if it's gusty, the plane will move, but the faster you are, the less the wind will move you. Uh, but your, your landing will be a bit rougher, but, you know, it's expected in bad weather. So, yeah, look, they're, they're, there's loads of different principles and rules, and I, I tend to come in about 140, 142 max. That's kind of where I'm at with it. Each to their own. Let's bring the speed down a little bit. One two thirty. Oh wow! Now that's just changed that dramatically. Bad. No 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 no. We need it faster. Descend. Descend. Okay, so that took a bit of time to calculate itself. Oh no, it's because of the, the levering off. Hey, okay, this is okay. We're doing okay. You can use 150 and float it down and around 140 and get a realistic landing. Only 14 likes, yeah. Pilots are stingy today, eh? <laughs> I actually thought there'd be more interest than this, but you know, it's one of those kind of aircraft. It's not going to be for everybody. I think you're either going to like the idea or you're just not going to go near it. I, I think it's very much, you're not going to add it unless there's some sort of enthusiasm for it, I suppose. But I, I, I believe they've done a good job on the aircraft itself. Modeling, texturing, everything's looking really nice. FPS is good. What have I landed at the lowest, i.e. 123, it'd make it easier and softer land, but I guess it didn't because I just bounced and floated and it's happened again. Yeah, look, I still think you're flaring too much. The message got deleted. Yeah. Message ain't deleted here, mate. Terrain, terrain, pull up, pull up. Now, hopefully we're going to be okay. But look, this is my first time landing. I don't know what the physics are. I can imagine they're slow, heavy, so we'll find out. <laughs> yeah, Glenn Bixie does his uh, usual trick in the evening for me. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't ask for them, so. Low you go, the less momentum, surely, so you'll drop out of the sky at 1, 2, 3, surely. <coughs> He's flaring too much, Stephen Bradley, I'm pretty sure... I can't understand why you'd end up going back up unless you, you, you're you coming in too steep. You know, you, you should be coming in at, like, by the time you get near the piano keys, you should be fairly flat. You're not, you're not, you shouldn't be coming in more than two and a half degrees, two degrees by that point. If you're coming in too steep, that could be the only reason why you're bouncing. The only thing I can think of, to be honest with you. It's a tough one. Okay, we're now under 10,000 feet, guys. Landing lights on the ready. Uh, we will put engine into continuous. It's what you do if you're going to be carrying on with your flights. Keep them warm, but uh, obviously we won't be. Just for the sake. Why can't I change this now? Okay, let's change this because we really don't need to be descending that fast at all. We have a long time to get where we need to go. to the point where we're not descending mind control <laughs> yeah then Bixley control teach me your magic then <laughs> well you know it, it's kind of funny I, I, I never like asking for likes and stuff but I'm not like that I always feel a bit weird about it I suppose there's nothing you should feel weird about but I don't know Campbell Cow, hello mate, welcome to the stream. Welcome to a landing of some sort. Our first landing ever on the Airbus Beluga. Whale of the sky. Might even wink for you if you're lucky. And this thing does drop out of the sky though, guys. So look, it, descending. Yeah. They, they, 
they did say it descends ridiculously fast so they, they were not wrong there so you know what i'm going to do here now i'm going to altitude hold at 7000 so we get past this uh next little bit I'm going to bring our engines down a little bit here now as well. 210. I wonder how far down the first notch of flaps can go. Okay, yeah, so we can flaps one it. Nice. Uh, I was a butter landing later. No worries, mate. <laughs> Catching a bit. So we'll do a startup tutorial after the stream, and I'll post it tomorrow for you guys that might be picking this up. I will do a full FMC um tutorial takeoff autopilot features and landing there'll be separate videos but we'll get the startup going anyways to be the plan yeah this is too fiddly we need to change this like every time the plane just moves a little bit I can't keep the arrows on it. What if you click it? It just changes it from thousands. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so we are making our final turn and then we will descend to our ILS capture zone, hopefully. Hopefully the ILS is going to capture. Now the other thing is, is I don't under, I don't know how like heavy and high she is. So when we come to the runway, I have no idea. We're going to be obviously going off the alerts. Uh, hopefully she's going to be okay. I think she's a bit of a floater. Agenda deep. Bye, mate. Okay, now we're making our final turn. Okay, bring our speeds down here now. Let's bring ourselves down to 190. Second notch of flaps. We will flick on our ILS, which is already on apparently. There we go. Yeah, our ILS has uh, caught something. Hopefully it's the right airport. Okay, so it should hold at 4,000.
How do we already lined up with the ILS? So that can't be right. Uh, I've turned it down a little bit because I was looking outside. There you go. I just turned it up, anyways. <coughs> No idea if this ILS is gonna work. Yeah, I just turned it up. Sorry, it's because once we're cruising and I do the outside engines, it's just really loud, so I just turned it down. Um, yeah, all good. Okay, so it says it wants us to land. <laughs> this speed is ridiculous. Uh, one, two, three. Well, we're not gonna be landing at one, two, three for sure. But uh, one more notch for flaps still to go. gonna happen <clears throat> yeah this plane dynamics are funny it can fly at and take off at low speeds it can nearly take off like an a319 like them speeds um, but I, I missed something with the weight calculation went back at the the other airport so probably gonna look at about 140 here uh, I don't know this could, could go to crap yet so I'll talk too soon <laughs> Even though we're down very early, but you know, there's no drama. We'd rather be down early than late. We should have landed in the UK. It would have looked a lot nicer with the Orbix. Brian Taylor, morning mate from Melbourne. Hello, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the uh, Luga. We're just about to come to land in Paris for the first ever time me trying this aircraft. My first ever landing, so who knows. Okay, let's set flaps to full. Bring our speed down a little bit more. Ooh. There you go, she didn't like it. And landing gear's not down. But yeah, it's a bit early, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you don't go under 1 6 until you're gonna put your things down. Can you the plane from the third person view? Thank you. Iron Beast, hello. Yep, here is the Beluga. Uh, you're going to get a nice replay camera shots as well. But yeah, obviously we're coming into land now, so I need to keep an eye on the inside. Uh, but yeah, she's modelled very nicely from I and I builds. Uh, she is a... It'd be nice to fly, actually. A new kind of setup for me, but uh, other than that, it's actually been all right. Hello, Max Thomas. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, my Spitfire landings yesterday were pretty crap. Okay, so just for anyone that doesn't know, your DNH is up here. You insert your DNH. You need to put your ILS on here. So we've already put on the ILS. Once I see the diamonds start moving, I will hit the land mode and it should. Should. Uh, you don't go off the V speeds of the uh, MACDU because it's not built for this aircraft. You go by what the paper tells you. Okay. So this is actually what you go for, like I said, in real life that's how this aircraft flies because they don't they didn't build a whole new system for this. So anyone that might be new to the stream. Um, bring it all down and stuff manually, again, this is realistic to the in real life pilots that fly these whales. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna be making a turn in a second.
Hopefully we're going to see these pink diamonds move. Iron Beast, welcome mate. We need to get you involved in getting this done. Get it in the air, get it painted. Don't even see the lights for the air. Yep. There you go, the first pink diamond is coming into play now. I just realised I had a problem with my Paris scenery. I have a feeling it doesn't show. I forgot to fix it. Uh... No, it's real. This thing flies a lot. Okay, the pink diamonds are moving. I'm now going to click land. Gear down. Wind is blowing her though. So she should connect now. All going well. A little bit early. But now the diamond's engaged. Okay, so she has engaged to the ILS. That's something. Okay, ILS done. Okay, let's start bringing in our final speeds then. really have a feeling that this airport is not going to show any buildings. Is that down? Yeah, it's down. Here is down. I don't have any, um, don't have any airport scenery for this, guys. Uh, it was the freeware one, and I tried it the other day, and it was broken. I said to myself, "Ah, I have to go get that file," and I've completely forgotten. So we are landing in a pretty blank airport in Paris. I do apologise, guys. Okay. Anyways, no, I, I pressed the gear button, but yeah, it just needs that little extra nudge. So it does go down, but you need to obviously flick it just a little bit. really actually go a lot slower than this too. Maybe those V speeds are right, you know. Me too. So low. Probably not. So we push it to see how low down we can make it. This can land slower than an A319. I think there's problems. Probably not. Not a big bird like this. How's she pitching? Pitching high? No, she's not even pitching up. So, she's very comfortable at low speed. Amazing, isn't it? Physics, how it works. Just amazing. Physics of the aircraft. Like I said, the, A3, the A380s as well, they can land and take off in low speed, so no surprise. Yeah, there's no scenery here at the airport, guys, I don't think. Hello. There's airplanes. Oh, we might be in luck. Maybe I did fix the file. I can't remember. <coughs> 1,300. I'm going to take over too early because it's my first landing. I don't know how it's going to fly and I don't want to lose control. Maybe I should put the landing speed what it wants me to put it down at. I mean, it says one two two, but I just can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. One two seven. <sighs> she is still flying, and she's not even pitching. 
literally just gonna come flat in here. Bit of wind. I didn't get a thousand call out though. That's a, that's a bit surprising. A bit worrying actually now when I think about it. Okay, 800 out. Gonna take over. We, we have control of the beast. I flicked every switch, but it's all going off. so weird. Like it puts you down. Seriously, what the frig is going off? Taxing off the bloody anywhere here now. I should have probably gone down that one. Okay, anyways, uh, let's just change this to taxi. Turn off our landing lights now, guys. Turn off our strobe. Uh, beacon stay on. Runway taxi lights can go on. Wing lights can go off. Why are you buzzing at me? Okay. Let's just put the brakes on for a second. Okay. I can brake on. I think this clears that screen. AP off. I know I turned the AP off, but why? Seriously, you have to press the button twice. For frick's sake. Um, red button on the echo. Okay, yeah. Uh, worked it out now. Thank you. That doesn't matter. I think we floated a little bit. Uh, I just need to bring up my charts quickly, guys, because I don't know where we are in Paris. Um, charts. Let's bring up Umpaddy Airport and uh, have a little look at what we have. Charts, airport. Okay, where am I? I'm not showing. Good. Oh, here we are. Hey. Where would the cargo go? I suppose follow all the way down to B2 there, I suppose. Okay. Let's go for taxi then. And then we're going to watch a lovely replay of whether that could have possibly been good or bad. 125's not bad. Normally when you disengage the autopilot, I didn't know you had to press this button twice. Normally I actually engage, disengage it from here. But I did it from the stick, so probably why I didn't know. Thank you, mate. At least I know for next time. Okay, I put my ground spoilers on at the last second. The camera movements in here are a bit weird. Like, you can barely have to do anything, and they're acting a bit strange. 
Um, but I'll have a look if I can put them to like a fixed camera maybe or something, I don't know. Okay, so we're going to go down here. I think it's a cargo building. Of some sort. We're going to see, can we call uh, the thing to remove the cargo? Because they haven't stated, can you do it at any airport or anywhere? Um, if you can do it at any airport, that's awesome. If you can't, and it's only the ones that it says, then there's a bit of a dispute. I actually think the cargo was back the other way, but there is a building. It might be a hangar. We're going to go try that. We've got a bit of a taxi here, guys, down to the bomb. Uh, but all in all, happy with that. Oh, ground spoilers, trim, everything up. Okay, flaps up. Flaps all the way up, yeah. Flaps all the way up. We do a taxi on the outside so we can just have a look at her. Okay, where I'm going, it looks like it's the bloody BA hangar. You can do it everywhere. Wouldn't that be XP realistic? Uh, well, XP realistic's on, but I didn't know if that affected that. I haven't set a profile for this plane yet, I don't know. You probably know more than me, mate. I just fly the planes for fun. I can't believe I got a 125, I really needed that in the VA as well. Bugger it. <laughs> Yeah, we know if I actually had flown on the VA, it probably would have been like a 500 land. To be fair, she's all right. She's a bit heavy coming in. Like you can feel, feel that she's heavy, but it's um, it's manageable. If you know what I mean. And as you come in, once you kind of, I I turned off engines at 30, and I just started to do my my flare then, as soon as I kind of had 10. But it did take a while to get from the 10 to the floor. Oh, you can do it everywhere. Okay. Well, I think it's more realistic if we go to the cargo hangar, or I thought it was a cargo hangar. It looks like it's just Air France's own terminal, um, but we'll go over there. It's already planned now. Yeah, and um, then we'll go watch the replay. We'll see what it looked like, if it actually looked as good as it was. <coughs> Overall, guys, I really like this aircraft. I think it's done a great job. Look, the ILS and everything worked nicely. Uh, I didn't have any issues that I didn't cause myself. <coughs> it can land at a really crazy rate. Uh, that is absolutely nuts. But all, all good fun. Yeah, I, I literally think we're going to Air France. Drop off our uh, our wings. Oh, yeah, that's where we're going. We're going in here. I should have landed on 27L or right, and uh, we would have been up in the cargo area. Again, checked. Problem with Paris is a huge airport. Absolutely massive. But anyways, we're going to go launch it in here. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that landing. My first ever landing with her. Um, highly recommend it, guys. I, I, I think it's great. You know, she handled nicely. Like I said I didn't have too much trouble there. Um, not that hard to learn either. Look, the basic principles are there with all aircraft. You know, I literally had 10 minutes earlier and I just took off with it and that was it. And I did the stream. So, I and mean, if I could do it in that time, you guys could easily. Some of you guys played us a lot more than I do. Okay, let's go deliver Air France their lovely A380 tail for Simply Connect Airlines. Oh look, there's a 380 here. He's very quick to taxi. Very quick guy. Where the uh, the elite live in Paris. <laughs> so that's 380. 
Yeah, I can't wait for them to bring a good A380. Look, I'd say Microsoft Flight Simulator fly-by-wire might come before the X-Plane one. I do believe it's the same people when he builds them. Think about the modeling. It's not going to be far off if you use this as a base. Surely. I mean, I, I don't know. You'd think not. Brakes are very heavy. On. Be a bit unrealistic where we are because you're going to get the uh, cargo truck come out, but hey. Oh, she's like skidded out of control. We're in. Good. Okay, engine off. On the cup it. Engine's off. And lights off. Lights can now go off. <coughs> and all good. Okay, so if we go into our pad, ground services, we can get our external power if we wanted to. Get a loader out. Press the loader. And it appears out of anywhere. Awesome. But well, this is good news, it means we can actually fly to any airport we want. I'm quite happy with it. That's what she said. Uh, fly by wire will be the best aircraft. <laughs> Now, well, to be honest with you, any builds are going to be a building one as well. I believe it's any builds. I can't remember. I think it's them. Um, and if it goes anything by this, it's going to be fairly decent on this as well. Cool. Look, it'd be nice to have a 380 in both sims, because I actually really do like the 380s. Obviously, they're all getting destroyed now, and and they're, they're all coming out of service. But, um, yeah, I do like a 380 myself. I must. Hence why I like this aircraft. <laughs> this is about the abs. Yeah. But anyways, Iron Beast, while you're here, you're going to see your piece of artwork come out of the aircraft now, as you missed it probably at the beginning. I'm going to get rid of my navigraphs actually while we're waiting. On the line products. What's the problem? What's wrong with on the line? Any builds of uh, the A300 and this is good. I don't know. The, the the texturing inside and outside of this is really good. Um, I don't know. You'd expect them both to be detailed. To be fair, you're just trying to push this argument of fly by wire because you're a beta tester for them, like. <coughs> I think the flight factor has is better than A32NX, but for Microsoft Flight Sim, A32NX is the best we have, so, you know, it just swings and roundabouts. We will see. We will see. Uh, yeah, look, you're going to get to watch it come out now. Watch it come out. It's pretty cool. We just got to wait for the loader to, to load up. So, I have to send you all the files for the... because you can carry fuselages, space stations, everything in this. Helicopters, so you can paint them all iron and it'd be cool. Uh, System-wise, well, the A32NX is still limited to, like, this was the big argument the other night. Microsoft Flight Simulator's SDK is limited. It's like the Spitfire, it's still limited. Until that, you know, gets pushed out. It depends on what other pay, where aircraft, depends does anyone go after the A320 on Microsoft Flight Simulator. You know, because system-wise, the flight factor A320 won't be beaten. It's fully functional to the point of it's nearly study wear. So until A32NX says they're study wear, you know, they're, they're behind no matter what you say. Any aircraft that is study wear level is ahead of the game of any other aircraft that's made, that, you know, and that's just it. Okay, so we need to go back to our tower. I mean, this was a whole brand new 3D texturing inside here. Now, I'm only in 720p. It's not doing its justice. 
texturing and the detail is beautiful. Like I said, if they can match this into an A380, good. Why can't I unload? Little truck, box. Oh, it's still coming closer. It's being impatient. I thought it was stuck. <coughs> and talking about A380s, we do have an A380 tail in here. Um, but yeah, look, like I said, it, it all depends. Depends on what limitations the, you know, all the limitations of Microsoft. Like I said, the SDK, you know, that will be improved, of course. But then, you know, it doesn't mean they're going to allow you to, you know, do what you want to do. It could be locked to certain developers for certain things for their own payware products. Uh, you wouldn't know. Okay, we can now unload. This is what we wanted to do. And, I'm sorry, this is awesome. I mean, not being funny, this is a whole new level. I simply connect Ale from an A380. It is. There's loads of different products that go in and out of this. Like I said, there's part of a space station, helicopters, uh, fuselage, wings. Yeah, I'll send you the other bits. Yeah, I will. Like I said, I just sent them to you, what the one this morning because I knew it was late for you, like, so. I'll be fine. This, this is wicked. Absolutely wicked. And if you're in the cockpit of the aircraft, like Glenn said, you can actually walk up yourselves, open your door. And you can go up here, open the hatch. You can close the door from here. There we go. He is closing. Yeah, well, actually, Iron, it might be something that you might look at too. I know you're looking at modeling. Maybe you can model some stuff that can go into it. Maybe you can look at the files and see what it has to do. <laughs> what can you take in the hold? I will show you. Uh, but maybe Iron Beast might be able to model us some stuff. So currently, it won't tell me. Okay, so I'll tell you what there is. There's a fuselage. There's wings. I think they're for A320s. Uh, you have this part of a space station. You have a Chinook helicopter, I believe. Um, you have the tail of an A380. That's all there is currently. That's all there is currently for this aircraft. But like I said, maybe no Iron Beast um, likes to do playing with his blender. Maybe he can model some bits. I don't know. Yeah, see, look, he's already thinking about it. What the frig is going on here? That engine's still running? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Could not tell you what's wrong. <laughs> Busted it. Both my engines are doing it. Did it basically resemble the heat coming off them?
weird. Turn off all systems. I don't have a clue about them. Air truck fit in there, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure what's the deal with the engines to be fair. <laughs> no idea. Definitely off anyways. Maybe I can pull one of the fire suppressants. But yeah guys, so there we go, there's the end of the stream. Uh, I really like this aircraft. I can't wait to get it into Simply Colors and take it for some cargo runs. It's interesting if Iron Beast can uh, he can uh, actually make some mods to go on here or not. It, must, it mustn't be too hard. You have a lot of room to play with. Like I said, you can load all kinds of stuff into it. Helicopters, other planes, space station parts. So, yeah, we should be able to do it. Um, thank you for everyone that has watched this evening. Thank you for the new members. Uh, Nut, thank you very much. Much appreciated. And the donation for Stephen Bradley for the VA. Always all much appreciated. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that. We'll probably fly this again in the week. Now that I know I can... Oh, no, actually, we didn't watch the replay. Quick. All of us. We're so fascinated with the toy that we've forgotten what it actually does to land. That thing does not follow us now. That's next level. X plane's just crashed now. Too. There we go. We will not see my replay of my landing because X plane just crashed because I decided to bring half the thing up the runway with me. Imagine if you could haul SE trucks from PSC. Yeah, yeah, it'd be awesome, wouldn't it? I, I think we can do some good stuff with this. Um, so sorry about the uh, replay of the landing. It was a lovely landing, and um, I ended. You have to wait for the cargo thing to disappear. <laughs> but thank you all for coming um i will put a tutorial on how to start this bird up uh have a good night thanks for watching and i'll see you